How about everyone? In this new video, I would like to comment on the subject of the in sim. What is it? And what is it? What? No one tells you about this type of virtual caress. Before anything else, will only be a totally personal opinion. And based on my own experience, I recently had a Galaxy S23 Ultra that I had to return. With nothing more to say, start. Basically one and sim is a virtual sim call that instead of inserting it, a QR code is scanned and with that, one starts to take the data, the mobile network and your telephone number without the need for a physical sim call. What are the advantages of this sim card? The first thing is the safety issue that if for some reason the phone is lost or lost or stolen, you have a way to recover the phone. And therefore, no one will be able to take out this SIM card until you unlock the phone and be the owner. The latter helps in the environment, which prevents you from throwing a piece of plastic and also made of copper. But we also enter the disadvantages that there are. Where I will comment from experience. The first thing if you are going to change your phone, you have to go to an operator or request a new one and without before doing the process. Because if you do changing phones, you may know your number until you come to the operator and from there played. Call the operator today to the agency and ask for, again, a card without physics or a no SIM card. And it is possible that you are left for several days without a number, which happened to me in. And in that sense, I find it a bit tedious. And I had to pay additionally. And the second thing is that if you, for some reason, what it says when reset the phone, you may know the information about your and without, which he has to turn to the operator again. Or I ordered a new QR code. And with that, I would go back to normal. And that's where I personally don't think it's right. It's not like a card without physics. That simply extracts it. Put it on another phone, and that's it. In this case, it is time to carry out several processes in order to transfer this virtual SIM card. And from there, transfer it to another device or obtain a physical SIM card. That personally, as I say, I find it very tedious. But otherwise, I think the option is good, but still, because you must take this kind of thing into account, that under my own experience, it does not seem feasible to me yet, and being in full 2024, is that it should ask for a right to petition, or that in the same application it has the option to replace ISM for a new one every time I change devices, and that ends the problem, or that simply call customer service and get that to your email address. But so far, this has not happened in my country. I had to turn to the operator to give me a physical sync. And I hope you liked this video or have understood why. Cards without virtual cards. I think they are a bit wrong so far. And that's what nobody tells you. And so, let me know in the comments what you think of this video, or what do you think about this problem. And if any reason they loved it, let me know with a like subscribe, activate the bell in all, and see you next time.